I want to thank all the media for being here today because you play a very important part in bringing closure to this family and helping us to find Mr. Williams. We need help of the community. We need help from everybody to be involved in this search. Um, we feel confident there's people out in the community who may know something that could help us and just not realize that they have that last key to the puzzle. Yeah. So by you being here today and publicizing this, that's going to help this family and us um, find Mr. Williams, find Z, as everybody called him was Z, and that's who we're looking for. You know, the purpose of this press conference is not to go over the facts. I think there's been plenty of facts already been given out when he disappeared, where he found his car. You know, that's not what it's about. You know, I'm not going to go through all of that. I will tell you, though, that we have used every means of manpower and technology that's available. We've used them. We've used them in the past since this first started, and we continue to use them. And we're going to continue to search until we find, find him. Uh, the purpose today is for you to hear from the family members, from his mom, from his aunt, his cousins are here, his family's here. You know, they want to speak. They want you to know who Z is. They want to appeal to the community, please make a call if you know something. Don't, don't hesitate. And if you do know something, call Crime Stoppers or call the Sheriff's Department. That is the only two agencies that are involved in this search that need to get any tips out there is to call us or call Crime Stoppers. But we do need help. Um, the last voice that you hear in this press conference is going to be his mom. And I want you to listen to the words that she says. And I want that to touch you like it should touch you, should touch everybody. And she's just going to have something that's going to be very short but I think it's probably the most powerful thing that's going to be set up here is going to come from the mob. So listen to that and please help. Good. So I am Zelig's cousin um, and Kathy's cousin. And on behalf of our family, we just want to thank uh, Leon Lott and the Sheriff's Department, JP, everyone that's been helping all the uh, friends and family of these who've been sending prayers, who have come out to help us search, um, who've been sending words of comfort, who've been sharing the stories and sharing the message of who Z is. Um, and we wanted to give you a little bit more detail as to how important he is to us and why. Um, most people know Zelig for being a dancer, right? Um, but he was more than that. He was, he was a light to our family. Right. Um, when Kathy and some of you might not be aware, Kathy uh, had three children and she lost two of her children in 2004, her daughters, in a car accident. And so Zelig was her remaining child. OK, he is her remaining child. And that is why it's extremely difficult for her to be seen or to speak. Because as you can understand, a, mother, a mother's having some serious pain in her heart, missing her son in this moment, okay? And also, Zelik danced for his sisters. That's how he began in that space, right? That's how it all started. That's why it's so special when you see him perform, because he's dancing with his sisters in his heart. Um, and Car Caroline, his dance mom, wants to uh, give some highlights as well on who, who he is. Hi, um, my name is Caroline Lewis-Jones. Um, I'm not his only dance mom. There's many of us out there. But on behalf of Kathy and the family and Southern Strut and Unbound and the Broadway community and everyone that knows and loves Zelig for his dancing and his singing and his acting, um, he truly is the most talented individual I've ever met in my entire life. He's an angel when he sings. Um, He's, he's my muse. Um, we love him. I call him Zelly. Um, I, have, I met him when he was 11. And he's just the epitome of a friend and um, a talent and a creative. So um, please keep sharing. Please keep not just liking, please share. And um, just get his face everywhere you can. And we love you, Z. We see you. And we want your home. Thank you. 
So again, our plea and our ask is to pay attention, look at his face, all right, on the flyers, on the pictures. He might have facial hair, he might not. Please pay attention. Right before Zelig went missing, he stopped taking his medicine is the belief, okay? And that would put him in a situation that he would be very, very vulnerable, all right? Because he might be, appear to be in distress or maybe even in a trans-like state, okay? And it makes him very vulnerable. So we, we beg you to please pay attention and bring him home. I just want Zelda to come home. He, he all I got. He all I got. He all I got. <laughs> Where's my baby home? Where's my baby home? <laughs> 